We have some excellent new motorcycle safety gear rolling out on Great Lakes Supply Co. I'm really excited to go through these cuts for men and women with you, but first let's talk about armor. The first four pieces that I'm going through today with you take a new kind of back protector that's not compatible with the other ones on the site, so I wanted to call it out early. This is the Rion back protector, and it's another cool, ultra slim and flexible style that we're gonna be offering. These two jackets, the leather ones, come with the Rion joint protectors, and these two do not come with joint protectors, these wool jackets. The Sastec joint protectors that we offer are compatible with these pieces, but the back protectors aren't. So I just wanted to make sure off the bat that that was super clear for everybody. Let's get into the leather first, because this is really exciting. So first up, we have our men's leather jacket. This is the Wakefield jacket. It's full grain leather, so it's got some heft to it. And of course, this is gonna be triple A rated because you've got the armor and you also have the tons of abrasion resistance that you're gonna be getting from this full grain leather. The colorway is an almost black on Merlimoto, which is the manufacturer. They're an Australian brand. They describe this as chocolate brown. I almost wouldn't even call it that. It's a nearly black brown. It's almost an espresso brown, a lot like my motorcycle. So if you're worried about it being too brown, you're in no danger of that. It's a really great uh, neutral, slightly warm black. Features I'd like to call out, we've got zippers aplenty. There's also two zipper pockets on the inside that are accessible through a removable lining. So if you can see that, we've got a quilted lining that can be zippered out and there's pockets on this side that you can put a wallet or a phone into on either side. Now, like I said, these the, this jacket comes with the joint protection, so you don't have to worry about that. It's already in this jacket and you can barely even see it. It's much like the back protector, same material in that blue. Speaking of back protector, that is an optional add-on if you want that extra bit of protection. We've got beautiful seams, beautiful quilting details, in a minimal Merlamoto logo on the shoulder here. Lastly, there's a couple of perforation details in the leather and this optional to use, I don't know, what the heck would you even call this? This is just like... Choker. Choker. <laughs> An optional choker, little harness on the neck <laughs> for some extra cool factor. And if you don't wanna mess around with that every time you get in and out of the jacket, you can of course just snap it closed and leave it there for the vibes. Pretty straightforward, gorgeous, classic jacket and let's get into the hers version next. So while these are complimentary jackets, they certainly have a com Ugh. So while these are complimentary jackets, they certainly have a different styling, just his and hers leather, but this is your classic traditional. This is more of a cafe racer style motorcycle jacket, and this is your classic biker jacket. Now, don't be scared if you're not into this wool collar, it is removable, and I will show you in a moment what that looks like. Some key features on this jacket, it's another Beautiful full grain jacket. This one's more of that true black. It's got the armor joint protection included, optional add the back protector. The men's and women's take two different sizes, but don't worry when you select the add-on on the website, I, it'll auto select it for you. You also have two inside uh, breast pockets that you don't often have on women's garments. I feel like it's either one or the other. So I really appreciate that it's both. You of course have zippered pockets on either side. And then we also have buckles on either side to cinch down closer to the low waist um, above the hips if you want more or less room there. Now, one detail that I really love about this jacket that I haven't seen in many others is this little snap at the cuff. And you might be wondering, what's the point in that? It will keep this tab in place. So while you're living your daily life, this tab isn't getting in the way. You know, if you've ever had a motorcycle jacket where the, the zipper's completely on the underside and you're like typing on the computer or you're eating dinner and that hardware can like smash against the table and things around you. So the fact that you can snap this secure and this zipper won't agitate your tank, it won't hit anything, it won't be flapping as much in the breeze, that's a really handy feature and I really like it about it. But you still have the option to open this up and if you need the extra room, you've got this gusseted space that's also lined with additional leather to make sure that you have enough room to slide on another layer or just for more comfort getting in and out of the jacket. This jacket does not have a removable liner. 
So keep that in mind if you're comparing these. This one does not have the removable liner. What you see is what you get, but this collar is removable and you've just got more of that beautiful leather lapel. All the hardware is this muted nickel, more of a, not a shiny silver, but like a matte gunmetal. So that's a beautiful option. You don't have to worry too much about matching your jewelry to your jacket if you're worried about something like that. Next up, these two guys are very complimentary, but they are cut very specifically different for men and for women. And I think they're such an intelligent design. I think a lot of people will enjoy these. Let's start with the men's. So these are wool, what I'd call shackets. It's like a shirt jacket. The girls know, the men might be new to the shacket, but it's slightly heavier than your typical shirt. But it does have the extra lining because we're able to put armor in this. This is also Kevlar lined. So that's where a couple of the other layers come in. It's beyond just your single layer that a shirt would be. Some key details of the men's cut is that you have um, more of this traditional lapel collar and it snaps down so that's not um, flapping in the breeze while you're riding, but you can unsnap it if you'd like. To get into the jacket, it snaps all the way down and no zipper closure. You also have pockets up here that are snap closure and then you have zipper pockets down at the bottom that are a little bit concealed for you to add something extra. When it comes to the inside, we have one zippered pocket here and one open pocket here. And of course the pockets to take the joint protection, shoulder, elbow, and then back protector that you can add on as well. This jacket does not come with the joint protectors included. Now for the women's cut, it's the same fabric. It's that beautiful 100% wool and the collar is a big differentiator. This one's more of a high neck collar um, that's gonna block out some of the wind. And the women's jacket has a combination of zipper and snap closure. One more thing that makes it great and extra friendly as a women's cut is this zipper gusset here. You're able to open that up near the hips because this is a longer cut jacket and you're able to just get a couple extra inches on either side uh, if you want more room in the hips and thighs. Now this women's jacket does have zipper ventilation at the back to let in a little bit more airflow if you'd like. And it has this cute little ruching detail to cinch in the waist a little bit if that's something that you want. Again, on the inside, we have our Velcro closure pocket. On the opposite side, we have another Velcro, Velcro closure pocket for whatever things you wanna bring with you. And then of course you have your elbow, shoulder, and back protector pockets for you to add on that armor. This is Kevlar lined as well, so you're just as safe as a men's jacket. Lastly, we've got a really great shirt option, riding shirt option from Pando Moto. These four are all from Merla Moto, that Australian brand, and this is from our familiar beloved Pando Moto, which is a European brand. On the front, you've got minimal branding and you have two snap closure pockets. The zipper is pretty handy because you can also zip from the bottom and then it has this little extra piece of fabric to consider your poor little tank so you won't be beating that up with your zipper. On the back it's pretty classic and clean but you do have this great little strip back here that is actually reflective and will give you just that slight bit of extra visibility in the back while you're riding. I see this shirt being used a lot in cool adventure riding scenarios. It's also a great light jacket for springtime, for summertime depending on your weather. This is an unlined jacket, but it is made out of that really resilient Cordura Cool Max. So it is an excellent option for those hotter riding days when you don't want to be bogged down by a lot of layers. And you can, of course, armor this guy up and boost the safety that you'll get on the road. This is a pairing of Quattro Flex Back Protector and Sastec Joint Protector. Lastly, let's go to the glove shop. <laughs> All right, so I'll take you over here to look at the gloves. Gloves are a handy new addition that we've made to Great Lakes Supply Co in 2023, and I have quite a few options for you. Um, the most standout new addition are these bright tomato red gloves from Merlo Moto. They are um, a fun statement and they work with anything that we've got here. I almost forgot to mention that these Pando Moto women's pants that I'm wearing are also available on our site but you should have seen these in an earlier video. If you're looking for gloves with armor in them, we've got three options. These from 9-1 Moto are a really gorgeous styling. They've got this checkerboard pattern. It's nice black and tan. You get knuckle protection, you get digit protection, and then there's even Kevlar lining the palm for a little bit of extra. No palm sliders on this one. 
If you want all the protection that money can buy, check out these leather gloves from Pando Moto. They're more of a girthier fit, so I don't think they're as flattering on women. Um, most of these are pretty much unisex, but these ones just have a bulkier palm space, so I think they're more men's gloves than they are women's gloves for sure. Like I said, perforated, we got two colorways of the same style in this Onyx riding glove, the gray and the black. And when it comes to protection, you have your palm sliders, you've got knuckles, you've got digits, and of course you've got your full grain leather, which is gonna be excellent abrasion. Lastly, if you're a wild child or just wanna be as free as possible, we've got really simple slide-on leather gloves by 91 Moto. They read a slightly yellow and black, but they're not, they're not like a bumblebee colorway. They're definitely a nearly tan yellow. And these ones don't have any armor built into them. So you're just rocking your leather gloves, slip on and go. It's worth noting that each of these garments have their own sizing. So the gloves, the size charts are specific to these individual manufacturers and with the jackets as well. If you're wondering my sizing, I wear the small in the women's leather jacket and I wear the extra small in the wool jacket. The wool jacket's a slightly more relaxed fit and the leather jacket is more of that cropped in typical leather fit where you might wanna size up to make sure that you've got enough room in the bust and shoulders. Subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more about motorcycles, safety gear, modern classic lifestyle, a little bit of moto travel mixed in. Give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, ride safe.